We have three more episodes to go, guys, and then we are done with this season, jumping right into season two. The last episode was one of my favorite episodes when we were dealing with Cleopatra. Next to that episode being my favorite episode was when Pompey's head got cut the hell off. But last episode, child, it was giving us life, liberty, and justice. I was really sad when it ended, but it seems like Julius Caesar actually had a child with Cleopatra. Now, I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I know you don't know me personally, but history was never my thing. I was never interested in history for some dumb reason. But I always was told you never know where you're going unless you know where you came from. So history really should matter. But it doesn't for me. (laughs) It should mean a lot more. Um... I just, I don't know, I just never was into into history class. So, to tell you the truth, I know who Cleopatra is, I know who Julius Caesar is, duh, 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 but I actually don't know the timelines, I don't know the events of what happened, I don't know what's from the show or what's real life. I'm just enjoying the show for what it is and learning from what I'm learning. And if I want to Google it, you know, to learn some more, I will do that. Um... I'm ready to jump into this next episode. Like I said, we have three more. This is going to be a full reaction for my channel members. I believe that, uh, I believe this is going to be for the channel members on the second and third tier. Um, the first and the last episode is where I'm going to head to do for the channel members of my whole channel, just because I want to get back. So if you guys like to join the channel, please join the channel now. Add me onto Discord. We could talk about this show and many other shows that you guys are into, or even if you want to suggest new shows after this. So add me to Discord, guys, um, and we can talk there. Please remember, full reactions will be on the channels. You have three tiers to choose from, so choose wisely. With that being said, guys, let's jump into Rome and find out exactly what Julius Caesar has got to <laughs> give. Where are we going now? Where are we going now? Oh, oh help it! We should go. Oh! Oh, it looks like you guys lost. Uh, Utica's not far. Utica. Shelter. Food. I think it would be pleasant. Utica then. Quietness. Is this the best we can do? No matter. Uh, bring water for washing. And bread. And wine. Cheer up. We live. We do. If you can, you should make your peace with Caesar. Uh, Go your own way. In any case, let's not discuss it now. There'll be plenty of time for such sad talk. There's a piss pot through there, I believe. We hope you have 
have enjoyed our humble efforts. Warrior's father has returned. Happy day! Banish Pompeii and Knight forever! Happy day! Four slaves we have now? They're a good price. Butcher shop paid for them and plenty to spare. 500 head a week sometimes. <laughs> Pigs mostly. You're ready. <laughs> we speak our words. If it pleases you. Oh, it does. Uh, of course it does. Can I get you anything? A bit of water would be nice. I brought you something. Parentalia begins on the eyes. Temple true Roman bread for true Romans. It's like I did this fall season. <laughs> you still fucking my mother? <laughs> oh. That would explain your excessive familiarity. I was merely curious, and you're correct. It does feel oh. good to be home. That's good. I kind of miss this guy in this little sarcastic way. My darling boy. Oh. Sister, I hope you're well. Let me hug you. Come inside and wash. Let's get rid of the stink of horse on you. Please, Mother, we will be late. Caesar has treated me extremely well. We must go if asked. Oh, Not well. Common sense. What sort of man asks for mercy in the first place? I assure you, in lieu of a noble mm. suicide, you shall have to be content with that. Bring me my shoe. Oh. I shall make your excuses, Daddy. Certainly not. I will go. Perhaps it will do you good to see him. Loss of his affection is not worth this endless raging sorrow. My objection to Caesar is purely political. I'm afraid I must put on a triumph this next month. How lovely hmm. to see you both. It's a morning show. It's very pretty. Oh. Has someone died? A great many. Damn. But it's all over now, and we're still alive, no? Oh, she fucking got her. <laughs> Come. It is the height of four men with a long neck, like a beast. Sorry, I assure you, it was quite real. With any luck, you may see one at my triumphs. I should like that, but then my work begins in earnest. I must set about putting the Republic to rights, ideas, but I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> Yesterday, I saw... Hmm? How would you proceed for you and me? I would start a large program of public works, employing citizens and freemen, so that I could be sure my creatures rather than my secret enemies. What is your point, Otto? Oh. The man of honor. I believe that your capitulation is sincere. Did not your man, Aelius Circulus, die recently? Who shall take his seat at the pontiff's table? Pontiffs? Yeah, that's true. But, but, I yeah, believe but, I have the authority to appoint whom I like. Truly, I would make an ill pontiff. Don't be ridiculous. You'll make a lovely pontiff. Yeah. You'll make a lovely pontiff. Poetry can wait. It should not wait too long. Oh. Which is a young man's calling. Don't you think? That Coming towards us in the plane. Lisa, it's my work. Forward. The lady will be angry. Who's mask, eh? Right? They've had the order to advance, so before the officers can stop it, the whole thing turn tail and charge on their own line. Boom! Chaos! My oh, lord! You must be bored sitting around here all day. I don't mind it. You've been discharged a month. I know. I mean, there's no hurry. We're all right for money and everything. But I can't be loafing around here forever. It'll give you something to do. <laughs> Storytelling is not your thing. That's something. That's not an animal. You're not learning the trade sitting on your pugus. There's plenty more carcasses to be hung. Oh, 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 tomorrow you'll have your money tomorrow. Let's take his nose off. Take a business elsewhere. Oh. What's it to you, you bastard? Bad for trade. Thanks. Tasty wife. Do not speak of my wife. Oh, no. Orders, orders. No, no, no. Oh. You're not a soldier now. Oh. Oh. Walk away now. Do not let me see you on this street again. Both of you. Dead. No respect for our soldiers! You shouldn't have done that. Those were Orestes Foreman's people. Who? You won't take disrespect like that. The Orestes Foreman will kill you. Since Pompey's gang's left, he's had the run of the hill. He's a big man now. I'm no crawl to be abused. He's prefect in the Evocati. Thank you, sir. He should be Batman of this time. I hope that dinner was not too painful. I wish you didn't care for him so much. I wish I didn't care for you so much. Brother of yours has become quite the pretty man. Mm. Mother claims Caesar took him for a lover. He said the noises she heard were some terrible affliction of Caesar's. It's affliction? Idea. What affliction? Ah. Uh. He was sworn to secrecy. 
But he said terrible. You must find out exactly what this affliction is. How can I do that? It's a secret. You must find it out. This is the weapon I see. I would rather that you think of something other than the destruction of my uncle. He still has some terrible hold over me. I wish it were not so. Yes. That make you happy? No good. What are you reading? A guide to the interpretation of prodigies. No. If I'm to be a pontiff, I must be familiar with their ludicrous jargon. I could read to you. If you like. Permits to lie within her lap, to nip her finger, biting quickly with that bill. That doesn't rhyme. I'm tired of poetry. <laughs> Tell me a secret. Something shocking and dangerous that nobody knows. What about Caesar and his mysterious affliction? What affliction? Don't lie. One <laughs> you tell mother about. Oh, I was just making it up. So you were lovers? Of course not. Sister, there are no gods. Don't be horrid. The community of beings that look like us meddle in our affairs. Highly improbable. I do trust you. You're my dearest friend. Then tell me. Right. I don't care the slightest bit. Only that it would be a terrible secret and something worth hearing. Tortured and killed a man. Liar. Do you remember Lucius Verena? He has a wife who deceived him. The child he thinks is his daughter's son is the butcher I killed. Helped kill anyway. You asked for a terrible secret. Right. She's like, oh, I don't care that you kill somebody. Satriot! Lucius Varinus! Looking as lovely as ever. Phyllis sends her best regards. Very pretty family you have. <laughs> Be hard to adjust. Different rules. Different fucking rules! My man Urbo here says you slapped him in the face. Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah. I did. Oh. Oh. Regular oh. citizens like you are not allowed to touch them. Get to your point. <laughs> this is the second time that Lucius Farinas has shown me disrespect. He will kneel down before me. He will kiss my feet. And he will apologize. But before he dies, he will see his wife and daughters raped. And then I will burn down this building. Hold. Send your peace. Uh, then leave now. I love that he looks after so him. the wife of this Lucius Verinus is a whore. What's that to me? He has it and suffers whether you know it or not. He suffers. Right. But he's not destroyed. You do have something he wants. Why? You know he wants you. I would be betraying my brother. I would be betraying my family. They are my oh. family. They love me. I, As I love you. Your mother killed Glabius. My people caught one of the men that did it. I would have trusted that she did this whole time. <laughs> she can kill all of these people uh, very quickly. If you're killed, then you must stay in the country. Don't come back to the city. Don't come back. We'll be country girls. Mm -hmm. Go ask the gods for a blessing. If you begged him to kiss a man's feet. Children of the Verena. An old and respected name. Why does he get the other soldiers to join him? Because he's like a really high-ranking soldier. Oh. Hey, Renny, are you going to leave this mess on the table? Please go with them. I will not, and stop asking. I'm not worried. Good bread, this. I bought the better kind. Guys. Get back. Make way there. Run and hide. You guys aren't running and hiding. Here comes the consul Gaius Julius Caesar. Oh. Salve, Lucius Verinus. <laughs> Your wife is very beautiful. Her name? Nibis. Rise, Niobe. Would you honor us by drinking our water, sir? I'm happy to do so. I've always held you in high regard, Verinus. That being so, I'm come to ask you to stand for magistrate of Lower Aventine. Well? Respectfully, I must decline. So, you still disapprove of my action? You'd have to speak. And you will not speak in favor of a tyrant? You misjudge me. I am no tyrant. I have taken dictator's powers legally. I will not rest until Rome is as it was in the Golden Age. Just join him and stop being a, 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 amazing. He's up there. He looks after. 
after him. Just everything. Are you gonna ask your mom or just leave that old lady? I mean, she did kill him. Just saying. Were you looking for anything in particular? Do you have anything comical? Um, I don't think so. She's kind of bothering me you. this episode. I don't like that one. He looks at me. I'll call for another one. Don't. Come lie down with me. Lie down with you? When you were little, you would come to my bed every night. Ugh. Not every night. Pretend. I've no skill at pretending. I'm so grossed out. I'm embarrassed now. You are a man now, aren't you? You can take what you want. Child. That's crazy. Oh, tell me something. Brother. <laughs> oh. Now comes the price. <laughs> so you must know that seducing your own brother is wrong. You and I are above such petty social conventions. All right. It's unlikely I've seeded you. Not with the moon in transit. I knew your strange interest in Caesar's health. Right. <laughs> what have I done? Right, gross. What have you done? What have you done? Tell me. Promise you won't tell mother. What is he now? He's somebody important. You look like laundry. <laughs> no, don't. You'll dirty it. Does everything for him. You can really see. He's done everything since season episode one. Calm down, I've not even begun to get angry. Oh. Not your child. You will not strike me anymore. Will I not? <laughs> Don't tell me what I will and will not do. Be quiet. It's her. You killed my husband. I told you, didn't I? I told you I didn't kill him. You're a liar. Ooh. One of Timon's men. And where is this man? Did you speak to him? I did not kill your husband. You did. Well. You abased yourself for a stupid lie. Vilya is the liar, you fool. She lied to turn you against me. What the boy? A move, girl. She was using that lady to get whatever I think. Hey, ready? Who? Hey, ready? Oh, come on, master. My mother had hair like yours. Thanks. Hey, eyes. Hmm. <laughs> Smelled of pine trees. Worked in the woodyards, probably. Uh, don't know who my father was. Just another slave, probably. Timid cunt shoveling shit with a collar around his neck because he didn't have the courage to die like a man. Down. Suck my cock, the lot of you! You don't smile much, though. You want me to smile? I want you to be happy. <laughs> have some wine. Take off your dress. Are you hugging her? I'm very curious to find out, like, why is he so infatuated with her? What's the hat for? Yom Kippur. Oh, is that today? Sis, you're gonna be in trouble, sis. to the end uh bang bang um yeah homegirl i'm confused guys comment down below what you guys think do you think that red hair lady you know i don't write notes and you know i don't know nobody's name do you think that red hair lady was totally using um the daughter to get information like it seemed at first i was like oh no i think she really likes her and then it seemed as soon as she got a little bit of information she was like so persistent i would have been like hold up wait a second let me put my two cents in it and i would be like calm down sis like you're doing the most right now and you need to play this smart like at first she that lady even slept with her brother like your whole brother like that's so weird um girl hair flip you're going to hell. Um, that's crazy. I was grossed out when she slept with her brother. I was grossed. I couldn't. I could never. 
And then, you know what's crazy is, you didn't even ask, like, if that was my, I mean, this is a different time. But if I was told something that my mom killed my husband, I'm gonna go to my mom, be like, hold up, did you kill my husband? And I'll say it again, like, and I, we would have a whole thing. Although that lady was responsible for the husband's death, technically she said she swears that she never killed her husband, because she never really picked out a knife and killed him. She might have whispered in somebody's ear and said, go do the job, but she never, ever, ever killed him. Technicality matters. Um, overall, I really did enjoy this episode. I enjoyed the last episode a lot more than I enjoyed this episode, but this episode was up there. This show was actually really, really good. I was saying that in this reaction. I'm not really sure if I'm going to edit that in or not, but this is a really, really good show. I enjoy it immensely. Um, like I said, we only have like three, <laughs> that was very gamey. Like I said, we only have three more episodes to go, so I'm assuming that we're going to start picking up this battle between these two, and it's about to get real, real. Real, real, real. Also, in this one, uh, Polo, what's his name, right? He, um, you can see since episode one, he really was looking out for his man. Like, that was his man. Anytime he's in trouble, he's there to protect him. And it's just really sad to see that he's always on the bottom as his friend keeps rising, rising, rising to the top. Hopefully, if his friends will, you know, try to promote him somehow. But so far, he hasn't done sh for him. It's always been about... I mean, he does stick to his morals and his rights and what he believes to be right. But at the same time, you're still getting promoted. You're still getting all this stuff. Why don't you just say, hey, why don't you uh, have my guy Polo over here? You know, like, he's dope. I don't know. I feel like he's not doing that. So, you know, that's kind of weird. But regardless, this was a really good episode. I enjoyed it immensely. And I'll be waiting very patiently for your comments. With... That being said, guys, if you've seen this reaction and realize you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Also, please like and share this content because it's wonders for the channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres El Rey.